Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how you can change service account password on multiple remote computer. If you want to update the password or if you want to uh, change the account for any specific service on the remote computer, then you can use this script. So how does this work? Let me explain you step by step. In the first line, we are giving the server name here and we have a three servers, uh, server one, two, three for our testing lab environment. Now here, we have used the service name as a variable, username as a variable, and the server password as a variable. Because every time when we run the script, it should give us the prompt, okay, which service you want to uh, change the account? Uh, what account you want to use here? So this is the account uh, we are currently using that because all on all the server, that service uh, which we are going to test is the uh, Adobe Acrobat update service that is running on with the local system account. So we want to change it to the uh, domain account that we are going to use. So uh, here we are uh, going to enter the service name that I have already given here. Uh, here we have given the administrator at uh, sitetech.com and the password we will be entering here. Okay, uh, this is a static uh, variable. So if you want to uh, make it interactive, you can just uh, add read hyphen host uh, parameter here and then uh, it will ask you, okay, you enter the service name here. But then again, you have to uh, modify this match shell because this will be a, a tag for you then. Then here you have to enter, enter service name, service name here, correct? So in this way, uh, you can make it interactive, but as of now for the testing purpose, uh, I have set it for the static one, okay? So let me delete read hyphen host. Okay, so this is the one uh, username I have given as it is the password. Uh, we are using as a secure string because our password should not be visible in the plain text. And again, we have used uh, these two lines command. So whenever we are entering our password, it will pass the password value here. Okay, for each command, invoke command that we always use in our remote computer script that we have used here. And here we have used the gate hyphen service and the service name here. Okay, uh, here we have want to use a direct service name variable because uh, there was some problem and uh, uh, whenever you want to put the value, the variable value as it is, then you can use the using variable here. Okay, then uh, we have used the stop hyphen service. So before changing the account uh, on the service, uh, we have to stop that service first. Then we are going to change that uh, uh, username and the password on that service. You can see here, okay. And act, uh, we have captured that output in the uh, act variable. Uh, you can give the ID name to uh, this variable, but I have given the act and what we are capturing here. So that is most important. So if act, it means if this variable have executed successfully, like if this command is executed successfully, then it should show us this message, okay? So again, we are creating a new variable here because we want to print that message, correct? So that is the reason. So we have used here the out variable and then uh, you can do this in a different way. You can create a variable or you can just type write hyphen host, correct? You, you are already aware of that. I have used the different mechanism this time. So uh, I have created the variable here. Okay, this is the variable and uh, what variable value will be uh, here. I am using the server name because I want to know like uh, which server uh, that command has been executed now. Okay, so I'm using the server name variable here. So it will print that server name and then it will print this custom message over here. Okay, uh, service account change success. Else if that command is not executed successfully, then it will give this second error. Okay, the service account change failed. Now, again, we have used the start hyphen slip uh, and uh, five seconds to uh, start that service, correct? Because in the first step, we had stopped that service to change the account. Now the account has been changed. So we are going to wait for five seconds. Now this is uh, not mandatory. You wait for the five seconds, but it depends upon you uh, to uh, make the service stabilized after changing the username. So uh, we can wait for the five seconds to avoid any error uh, while the script runs. Okay, after waiting the five seconds, automatically it will start the service here. Now let me run the script and you can see how it is going to work. Okay.
I have entered the password here. Now it is showing us the message service account change succeed on one, two, and three. Okay, so let me verify here. Let me refresh the screen and you can see, okay, service is running and the account has been changed. Okay, service has been running and the account has been changed. So in this way, uh, you will get, okay, the account, uh, account change has been successfully completed on the remote computer. So you can specify as many as computer you can, uh, and you can run the script. Uh, if you want to know the status before uh, before uh, uh, executing this script and after executing the script, then uh, you can again add uh, two commands here, like uh, get hyphen service, get hyphen service. So it will show the status before and the after, but the output will be the different one. So let me run this as well. But this time, let me change the account. Okay, the output will be like this, the status name, display name and the PS computer. And you can see the script has been executed successfully. So this is the two way you can, uh, the one way, but if you want to know the service status, you can use this extra command. So this is the way you can change the service account uh, username and the password on the remote computer, or you can just update the password. There is another method that you can use to change the service account, but that command will work on only on uh, PowerShell 7 version, okay? So let me show you that. Uh, you can see I have installed the 7.3.0 here. And uh, the PowerShell which we have is uh, uh, 5.1, which is the default one. Okay, so what is the command to you do that? Okay, so let me show you here. Okay, so the first set the variable. Okay, get credential and the username will be administrator at sitech.com and the password. Okay, the variable has been set. Now we have to stop the service. Get service. Stop. Okay. Uh, let me refresh and you can see here it is stopped now now set hyphen service and you can see here this is the command which we can use instead of sc.config okay so you can replace this part with this command but generally I as I told you it works only on the PowerShell 7.3 so I hit enter here okay it's done now let me again start the service okay now here uh, it was running with the local system if I refresh it is running with the administrator at sitech.com but uh, if I use this command in the PowerShell it uh, don't work because of the version different okay so let me show you that okay in the PowerShell IC If I hit enter here, get the credential, I'm running this. Okay. So 
let me run it again and now this time i'll put a different username okay and password and you can see here state service of parameter cannot be found that matches the parameter name credential but uh, this is not the case with the powershell 7 it is uh, very well detect that command and even it works on the powershell 7 and if you have any query you can just put it into the comment box i'll try to answer that thank you for watching the video